yes, good to have you here. Well, thank you for having me. I love doing this. <laughs> good, good. Yeah, so I was crowned in March, and everything is amazing. I mean, it's really just a dream come true. I get to travel the state, which I'm state biased anyway. I love North Carolina. And then the people. That has just been amazing to meet everybody and to share the watermelon story with them. It really has been fantastic. So it's a great opportunity for agriculture. Um, the Queen program was put in place to represent the watermelon industry, but that just opens the door even more for agriculture all across America, all across our state. And so that is an amazing opportunity, this educational platform, and I love being a part of it so much. We've had some unusual questions like what are seedless watermelons, how do we get a seed for them? And that's just been probably one of my favorite questions to answer because everyone's like, wow, I learned something new today. And there are so many misconceptions about agriculture and so really getting to highlight some of the areas that they have questions about how to pick a good watermelon, where the seeds for seedless watermelons come from, um, even why do you cook watermelon? And so it's just very interesting. So there's a recipe on watermelon.org. It's like a grilled pork chop sandwich and you grill a piece of watermelon and you season salt it and just eat it on a sandwich and it is really good. Uh, you're making a face and that's probably the same face I made when I read about the recipe because I like just plain and simple, slice and dice, ready to go. But when you prepare it like that, it just really, the flavor sings together. Good. Oh, yeah. Very good. Thank y'all. So you're just showing a bit of your dress. Thank you.